Hello friends, today I am going to show you the recipe of Katori chaat. So let's start. So the ingredients of my recipe are some oil, maida, salt, sprouts, onion which is finely chopped, boiled potatoes, some tomato which is finely chopped, coriander leaves, red chili powder, tamarind chutney, cumin powder, sev, hari chutney, कर चाट मसाला एंड बॉइल चना सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ टेक अ बाउल एंड ऐड 1 कप ऑफ मैदा इन इट देन ऐड सॉल्ट एज पर टेस्ट देन ऐड सम हॉट ऑयल इन इट मिक्स दैट विद अ स्पून एंड मेक अ क्रंबल टेक्सचर आई मेड अ क्रंबल टेक्सचर एंड इट होल शेप and now I'm going to add some water in it to make a soft dough. Now I knead it into a soft dough and now we're going to go to the next process. Now take a small portion of the dough and make a round shape. I rolled it into a ball. Now I'm going to cover it with a layer of flour. Then I'm going to roll it into a thick roti. I rolled it into a thick roti and the thickness should be like this. Now I am going to poke holes with a fork. Now take a bowl and cover all the sides. I packed it from all the sides and now I am going to cut the excess dough off. I trimmed all the sides and my katori is ready. So now we are going to go to the deep fry process. So now take a pan and heat some oil and then add the katori in it. We let it fry until it is golden brown and crispy and it separates. So my katori is ready and it is separating from the bowl and now I am going to remove the bowl. My katori is ready and now I am going to transfer it into tissue paper. The tissue paper will absorb all the oil. So similarly, I made two more katoris. Now we are going to add some boiled chana in it. Now I will add some boiled potatoes in it. Now I am going to add some sprouts. Now add some corn. Now add some tamarind chutney. Some hari chutney. Add finely chopped onions in it. Now add some finely chopped tomatoes. Now sprinkle some red chilli powder. Some chaat masala. Cumin powder. And salt. Now again add some curd, tamarind chutney, green chutney, now add sev. Finally I am going to garnish it with some coriander leaves. So as you can see it looks so yummy. So this is a delicious and tasty Katori chaat recipe. Give this recipe a try and enjoy.